Hey guys, it's me again. Just going to do a review on the Jabba the Hutt throne environment. Jabba the Hutt and his accessory packs. Just give you a quick uh, overview of what it all looks like together. This is the Jabba the Hutt. And he's uh, very well detailed. His eyes and the uh, the paint applications are, are all um, smooth and it doesn't overspill onto any other part of the you know the figure or the body parts or anything so he's well detailed it's also very big but he's he's really light he's like a, um, a light plastic and his arms are the only movable part on him and he's got like drool and slobber coming down from his mouth which is it's a nice touch. It would have been nice if you could open his mouth, but you know, it's a bit asking a bit too much, I think. Being so you pay a lot of money for him, and as you get a little plastic thing that you can only move the arms, but you know, whatever. The throne environment's really heavy. I've got to say, it's it's unbelievable. He's got this, um, you know, what his little jelly whatever them creatures are called it's got the pot there that's attached to like the railing that goes all the way if you can see it all the way to his, his arse end that's probably the heaviest part on the accessory pack thing well the throne environment you also get his hookla pipe I think that's how you say it it's held on by a magnet so it won't fall off obviously goes down and into his his hand where he gets high Now his actual throne environment looks like uh, like concrete. It is really heavy, but it's not as heavy as that little railing. So uh, it's it's well detailed, looking actually like like concrete or limestone slabs or whatever. Also has five of these uh, ugly one-eyed gargoyle things on the end of his throne with the throne pack you actually get this like battered carpet you also come with two pillows which I thought would be like fabric but they're not they're uh, like polystone or you know some other hard material I'm not sure if the um, the plate came with the throne or whether it came with the accessory pack which the first one was salacious bee crumb which is also sitting on a pillow which you actually get with the pack um, you also you also come with that little bug-eyed rat thing and this slug that you can stick on the the wall or you know any other meta uh, metallic object because he's got a, a magnet on his back. Oops, excuse me. So I just stuck a pin in the wall and he held. So you know it looks all right. The tongue or tentacle or whatever it is it's got like the wire framing inside it so you can pose it which is nice and the second accessory pack oh sorry no nope. you get that frog thing which uh, I'm sure it killed that thing just before you go into Jabba's palace in the film so yeah you get about I think it's four in the first accessory pack the second accessory pack you get this uh, I'm not sure what his name is but I'll put something up to, sh to actually tell you the proper names so he's uh, quite big he's a bit bigger than what I thought he was gonna be anyway second uh, accessory pack you actually get that thing as well it's like whoa hang on oh some spiky ugly crab looking thing don't know what the hell it is like I said I put something up to uh, tell you the proper names for them and stuff and um, you obviously get this other buck tooth four eared two tailed kangaroo rat looking thing basically it, it is a lot of money for, for buying it all I think uh, it could have cost me anywhere between three and a half, four hundred pounds. 
for the lot they are expensive but um, it looks nice when it's all got all the accessory packs and you know the figures next to it that's obviously from Final Fantasy it's nothing to do with Star Wars it just had nowhere else to put it so um, I've got the Bib Fortuna but the way I've got everything at the back of it he won't fit on the back of him so that's about it for the review I'm afraid so um, if you like please subscribe and leave a comment if you feel like it see you